Hello, I have a 2006 GMC Sierra. Um, problem I was having was I was losing antifreeze. Um, didn't see any leaks. Couldn't find uh, where it was coming from. I could smell it. It was probably over the, over a month or so I could smell it. Um, just finally got around to checking it. Uh, antifreeze was was low or almost empty in the, in the box here. Um, I went ahead and refilled it, and this is, I've already found the leak, but it took me a while to find it, so I did get a pressure tester um, and pressurized the system. Of course, we just have the overflow box. Um, we don't have a radiator cap to hook to, so um, if you're going to get that, make sure you get the adapter that comes with the overflow, overflow box um, cap. I, I specifically asked for that. Um, I was told it was in the kit. Didn't check it. Anyways, and it ended up having to go back to the parts store to get that. So I'm just gonna show you, um, basically what I did was pressurize the system and I followed every line I could. Um, all the coolant lines. Um, there's, there's some under here under the air intake. I followed everything. Um, I pressurized it. It wasn't leaking out super fast. Um, but anyways, here's where, I, here's where I found the leak, um, and how I seen it was the tray at the bottom of the core support, um, was pretty wet, and you can see on that wire harness there, it's wet, and <clears throat> it actually starts up here towards the top of this, uh, this jug, and, you know, it's just wet all the way down, <clears throat> and, uh, you know, all the way down to the bottom. So this this whole side was was getting wet. It was dripping off the bottom. So I think I must have a pinhole. I don't know if it's here where the where the aluminum attaches to the to the jug. Um, anyways, I'm just going to order a new one. I did have to pull off. Uh, well, I didn't have to, I guess, but <clears throat> um, to get a little more access, I I pulled everything off the front here. You know, the the uh, air intake box there, the hose, and uh, this has the electric fan, so I pulled those out just to make it a little easier. And so I could definitely make sure that um, where that leak was coming from, I was afraid it was, uh, you know, the cracked head, or uh, I think it's around the, the head bolts, you can get small cracks, and since I couldn't find the leak initially, I was thinking it might have went, you know, might have been in the head, but luckily it's just the, uh, just the radiator, so. Um, pretty easy to take out though. I'll, uh, I don't know if I'm going to do a video of that, but, um, just to show you where the leak was, like I say, I think, uh, when people can't find leaks like this, they, they get really worried as, as I was initially, um, hoping it wasn't something internal to the engine, but, um, that's it. Easy fix. Just need to get a replacement and put it in. All right. Good luck. Thanks.